No. Crystal May, you did not find another antique. Found it and came right over. Ooh, kind of looks like a sippy cup. Yeah. yeah. It is. Oh. My grandmother's sippy cup. What? Yeah. $200. Oh. Well, I don't know. $500. You know, this cup was the only thing she left behind after they took her hair and her shoes in that Jew camp during the Holocaust. And my fam, sorry, I hate Hitler. I love this cup. $2,000 for the cup and your grandmother's troubles. Wait a second. 1988, the Holocaust happened in the 70s. Okay, okay. all right. 1988 BC. Before Christ. Choo choo. Suck on that. I... <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Look, I don't want to part with it, but that money that you gave me when I gave you that pillow from my Egyptian daddy. King Tut. Yeah, yeah, my Tut daddy. Uh -huh. Well, that money's gone. Well, I only have $4,000 in cash. That's perfect. But I want to give you five. What do you think of $4,000 in cash and a thousand by check? Is it happening? <laughs> We don't call them that here. A family heirlooms are interns. Interns! Hi, I'm Jim. I'm the head intern. I don't have any money. I'm not homeless. I, I sleep on my uncle's couch. Oh, does he touch you? What? No. <laughs> what? He's a good uncle. Sure. Hey. Oh, man, you reek. Dixon, be polite. This isn't New York. My brother's from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. Isn't uh, Brooklyn in New York, sir? What the fuck do you think you are? Okay, this is a welcome home party, not a map lesson. Yeah, first of all, Manhattan is New York. Brooklyn's fucking Brooklyn. Now, all the interns have eaten the cake already. Because they're starving and homeless. But we still have 60 bottles of champagne. Can everyone please raise the bottles? As many of you may have noticed, there's a new face amongst us. A face that may look similar. A face that may look like my face. That's because that face belongs to my brother Dixon, who has finally come home from his hotshot job at the CBS headquarters in Brooklyn, New York, to come home and help restore the family business. Not that any of you know about family right now, but it means a lot to me, to us. To Dixon, CBS entrepreneur, hacky sack enthusiast, and face brother. My face brother. Cheers. 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 Did you buy 60 bottles of champagne? Look, he's at work already! Sam, I need to talk to you. <laughs> now. Sam, why is this place filled with homeless people? They're not homeless, they're interns. Free employees. You're not the only one with business savvy. I mean, I have work, they need work. They need penicillin. You need penicillin. What? Well, what's the difference between homeless people and interns anyways? Homes! But technically, my interns don't need homes because at five, they clock in the security guards. Double business savvy. Here? Yeah. They clock in the security guards here? Yes, I don't even take inventory anymore. Sam, that's not safe. Well, are you worried about me? 
Hey, I love you too, big brother. You can hug me if you want. Absolutely. Absolutely. <gasps> Did you just hug me back? No. It was a shirt. Sometimes the shirt material feels like it's hugging back. Hmm. Funny how your shirts always have the emotions. Remember that one shirt that you were wearing when mom and dad got in that tragic plane crash? Sam, stop. Yeah, yeah, remember it was crying its little eyes out? And then when you got up to speak at their funeral, the shirt got a boner. So many emotions for one little shirt. I don't understand why I'm getting a boner. Sam! At my mom and dad's funeral. Okay, there was Aunt Gertrude. She was in the front and she just got that boob job in. I knew it! I knew it! You want to fuck your family. I don't want to fuck her, but I like looking at her large breasts. It's different. I can say that dad was a strong man. That doesn't make me want to fight him. Hey! Fuck me, Enter. I'm so glad you're back. Shut up. Listen, I'm only here temporarily just to help you get this place off the ground, okay? So first things first, let's start moving the lamp into the lamp section. Dixon? What? Mom and dad are gone. I know. No, oh, they're gone, gone. I sold them. You sold what? I sold their urn. I forgot about the ashes. So we kind of got a two for one. He who, Sam? He Randall, Dixon. Randall who, Sam? Randall! The guy who owns the antique shop across the street. There's a second antique store on the street? Jesus Christ! Are you upset about the competition or mom and dad's urn? Both. Take me to Randall. You have a boner. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What? Just calm down, like count to ten, okay? Why? Because you're upset right now. Fuck, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go in there. No, do it like calming you. One. Why? Gosh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look, Randall doesn't have any friends or family, okay? And he never leaves the shop, so just go easy on him. Nine. Ten. All right. He has my parents. Yeah, well, I think they're like his friends. Ugh, sicko. More like Sado. Randall? Hi, Randall. Hi. Ugh, gross. Hi, Mom and Dad. Samantha. Hi. It's Sam. Oh. Mm -hmm. This must be the big brother I rarely hear about. It is, and this must be the person that I've never heard about. <laughs> you know, you should call your sister more. <laughs> Ever hear of a telephone? Yeah, I've heard of a telephone. I have an iPhone 4S. An antique. Listen, let's stop joking around. How much for the urn? It's not for sale. It's got my parents' ashes in it, you freak. Go get your own family and burn them into ashes. I don't have a family. Are these cookies for me? <laughs> Yet. That's my sister, you freak. Yeah? What's her favorite movie? Easy. Born Ultimatum. Mm, no. Born Supremacy. <gasps> Are we watching that movie? Uh, yeah. It's on in the back. Sis. You better be about to say Sistine Chapel and not sister. Why not? Because that's my sister, you freak. What makes a sister, dick man? Blood? Yes. Or memories, connections, love. Blood. Blood makes a family. Not that you know anything about that, you fucking orphan. Get out. Sam, bring mommy and daddy to me. I'm sorry, Sam. I have to close early and clean my urn. That's fine. Come on, Sam. Let's go talk about all the cool stuff we did as non-orphans. Yeah, moms and dads rule, Randall. Yeah, they rule. They don't drool. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, Prickson. It's Dick. Bye, Randall. Bye, mom and dad. Bye, bye, Sam. Hey, you want to have lunch with me and the interns? We're going to China Buffet. Uh, no thank you. I'm too busy going through your expense reports. No, nothing's wrong with my expense reports. I just told you the business was failing so you'd come home and help with mom and dad's urn. Uh, not exactly, Sam. Uh, the business is actually failing. <laughs> no, it isn't. Are you mocking me? I was doing a spot-on impression of you. Listen, Sam. Your business is failing. I mean, look right here. Okay, last month you bought the fifteen thousand yes, dollars worth of antiques. Yes, I did. Because I got scrilla. Okay, and now I'm going to ask you, how many things do you think you sold last month? Just take a guess. For one month? Yeah. I say 
You sold one thing. You sold our parents. I didn't... I didn't mean to sell Randall the urn, okay? I'm sorry. You psycho. You should be happy about a sale. You psycho! You want me to be happy about selling mom and dad? I'm a businessman, and I know that money never sleeps. What's your point? The point is, you gotta make some changes around here, or you're gonna end up as an intern. You mean homeless? So you admit they're homeless. Oh my god, this is priceless. I've been waiting for you to say this all day, sister friend. Say it right into my iPhone. Siri, record. Stop. Stop what? New York's changed you. Brooklyn's changed me. And you know what? You need to change too. Otherwise, you're gonna go out of business. Okay. I'll sell the business to Randall. No, that's not what I meant, Sam. You want me to burn it down for the fire insurance? Jesus Christ, no! Listen, Sam, I believe in you. I think this business can work. But, you know, you gotta do what I say. I mean, with my experience at the Convenience Value and Service Company. CVS? Yes. I can help you get this place going again, but you gotta listen to me, all right? Okay. Okay, so first things first. Let's get rid of all the interns. What? Where are they gonna go? They don't have homes. I don't care. Homeless people are bad for business. I mean, look at TJ Maxx. I don't want to fire them. Well, then get someone else to fire them. Jim? Yeah, I've, I've been here the entire time. You were yeah. listening to our conversation? Yeah, I've been standing right outside the door for the past 45 minutes. We were supposed to get Chinese food. I need you to fire the interns. All oh, of them. Ew. Am I firing myself, too? No, you've got it bad enough with that uncle thing. He's a really good uncle. Sure. sure. When you fire them, I want you to make sure that you're harsh, all right? We don't want them lingering around, okay? Huh. Here we go. Excuse me! Everyone! They don't even have homes. Because they're homeless! da na 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 homeless! da na 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 da na 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 homeless da na 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 Come on, get into it! Mommy and Daddy, who do you like more, Dixon or me? Oh, Randall. We like you more, Randall. Oh, I knew it. Randall, why aren't you dating anyone these days? Well, it's hard with work. What about that young lady who was in the other week? Oh, well, according to Facebook, she's... In a relation. It's probably not serious. But they have so many photos together. Randall, someone will come in tomorrow. Don't worry. Yes, but there's no guarantee that anyone will come tomorrow. Except Sam. Sam will always come see us, won't she? Huh. Yes. My sister. Dixon, too. Ugh. My brother. As long as we're here. Yes. 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 Visitors. Daily. Family coming in, going out. Randall's the popular one. Come and see Randall and his mommy and daddy ashes. Excuse, excuse me? I just need to check out. <clears throat> yes, of course. Thanks. Sure. Don't be long, Randall. Shh. Say cash or credit. So, uh, homeless person. Jim. My name's Jim. That's my name. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> hey, I guess we have a couple of things in common. The same name and the same internship. Actually. <coughs> Jim, uh, that's why I brought you here today. Um, this is the hardest part of the internship for me. Uh, 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 you've been released. Released? Like, you know how your parents want nothing to do with you? Oh. Think of it as, uh, free to roam. No, it's nice of you to say, but I'll tell you something that I've learned. Is there's no such thing as free in the street. 
You know how many dicks you gotta suck just to get one single chicken McNugget put in your hand? Three. Bingo. Hey, maybe that's something else we got in common, huh? He's a good uncle! Okay, okay. <laughs> Fine. Look, I know what this is. I'll get out of here. But, um, tell you what, if they ever release you, come and find me, okay? Because if the two of us work together, we could get a McDonald's meal going in no time. You know what I'm saying? With fries. Okay. With fries, too. I get it. You've prepared a sentence. <coughs> you okay? This is just how I am. Prepared a severance package for you, okay? Uh, oh, is there any condoms in there? No. Uh, but we do have like things that'll help you along on your oh. way. Some bar soap, you know? Okay. We got some TP in here, toilet paper. <laughs> be, that'll be good. Nice little dessert. Yeah. Okay. And good. Okay. And uh, cell phone. <coughs> What the, who the hell am I gonna call it a cell phone? Oh, there's no service. Uh, it's just to have with you, you know, so you can avoid people on the streets, like a Greenpeace canvasser, or like a homeless... Hang on just a second. Oh, I have to take this. Oh, no so problem. Sorry, you're fired. I'll leave Hello? You. Hey! Thank you. How you doing, Kip? Aw, oh, Kip. <laughs> yeah. You sure? Oh my god. Hospital, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, Kip. That's awful. I hope she pulls through, Kip. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm coming over Thursday. No, I wouldn't. Wouldn't miss it for the world. All right, I'll talk. Oh, I got another call. All right, Kip. Hello? Dixon. Hey, Mom. What? Nothing. Do you want to banter a little before you go to sleep? No, I'm tired. How's your brother? Fine, I'll just call Randall and banter with him. Fine. What do you want to banter about? Quit saying banter. You said banter first. I want to get the ball rolling. Fine, what do you want to discuss? Are you glad to be home? No. Do you miss New York? Yes. Did you have a girlfriend in New York? No. Have you read any of the following Hunger Games trilogies? Hunger Games? No. Catching Fire? Yes. Mockingjay? Half of it. What movie did you see last? Uh, actually, I got fired from CVS recently. What? Yeah. You were the president. I was actually the, just the cashier. Oh. They replaced me with a self-checkout machine. I love those things. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I just... It's so much less awkward to buy tampons from those things. I just... I love buying tampons from them. Stop. Tampons. What? Your blood bleeds, Dixon. I get my period. Okay. Say it. All women get their periods if they can. What? All women get their periods if they can. If they can't, they don't. I love you. I love you too. I'm really glad you're back. Me too. I would kill myself if we didn't have each other. Me, me too. I'm serious. If I was alone, with no family, I would just end my whole pathetic existence. Good night, mommy and daddy. Good night, Randall. A special boy, talented, reliable, trustworthy, big muscles. Give us a kiss, good night. It would be an honor.
Crystal May. You did not find another hit speed. Yep, found it in storage and came right over. It kind of looks like a plant. Yeah, it is. From the Garden of Eden. $100,000. Sam. Garden of Eden. Does she look like she knows anything about the Garden of Eden? No. That's right. So she is telling you a... Lie. lie. Because she's trying to cheat you out of... Money. Right. And you're not going to give her any... Lie. Money. No, you're not going to give her any money. No money, liar. What the hell? Come on, Sam. Listen, trash bag. We're making some changes around here. Family heirlooms a family establishment again. I think I would like to send a text to Randall about that. Siri, text Randall. I gotta give you at least three hundo. So Two of you are on your phones, <laughs> presumably with family. Oh, well, not you. <laughs> you don't have a family. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm homeless, not a fucking orphan. <laughs>